Well, new tonight, parking versus preservation. Earlier this year, we told you about a natural piece of land near a castle, literally a castle we're talking about, near Villano Beach that was about to be turned into a parking lot. People didn't like that. Yeah, neighbors told us they did not want the parking lot. They voiced their concerns to the county government. And Jessica Clark's on your side reporting on what has happened to save the land. The Otis Castle, a church and piece of artwork, stands along A1A near Volano Beach. It's surrounded by natural vegetation, and beyond that, houses. Part of that natural land belongs to St. John's County. This spring, the county's Public Works Department planned to clear its land and put a parking lot right next to the castle. Neighbors and the man who built and owns the castle were concerned that a parking lot would bring noise, traffic, and damage the erosion control that the vegetation provides. I think most of it boils down to public safety in this neighborhood. First Coast News did a story about it and the neighbors voiced their concerns to the county. Recently, the county planners came up with a different plan to leave the area around the castle untouched and the county commission approved other areas along A1A for parking spaces. Why did they do this? Partly, I think, because of the response of the community here. The county needs to create more public beach parking along A1A in order to receive millions of state and federal dollars to help pay for beach renourishment near Volano. But the castle will remain buffered by vegetation, something the neighbors are really thankful for. It's great. Nobody should mess with the castle. I think everyone benefited. I think it was a perfect solution. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.